Watch the vision. Yes, yes, yes. Check this, your boy DJ Roscoe Boats. Are we live on Watch the Vision Radio Season 4? Everybody making the Season 4. Boop, 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 boop. We got one of my uh, road dogs in the building, man. I meet this brethren. When I was in grade 7, man, he was one of just the coolest dudes in the school. Real talk. I talking clocks, Dan. Pants stiff up, straight stiff up, man. One of the cleanest dudes in the school, man. And it just so happened, man. Our relationship just even spring forward, man. How long that was? Probably like 15 years now, Jed. Real talk, real talk, man. So, one of my brethren's in the building. His name is Cameron Knowles. Look at yourself, Cameron Knowles. Morning, morning, morning. <laughs> yeah, man. Cameron, Cameron is a young entrepreneur, designer. Coming up, man, you know, since he on the radio show, he got to at least give your boy DJ Roscoe some samples before he leave, you know what I mean? <laughs> we now locked in to watch the Vision Radio Season 4. We going to get in a little interview with my dog, Cameron Knowles, in a bit. But we going to get into the mix right time. Season you 4, let's get it. You are now tuned in to Watch the Vision Radio. I got diamonds through and tussy slides in both ears Dice rolling on the Las Vegas strip tonight Slip that on and we might miss the fight Fuck or not, I keep the guala in my shorty bag You know she want a mind when she tattoo that ass I'm a lover boy, she love the toys Keep it coming, you a rider This that roll myself a J and count my figure shit It's that stepping out, I feel like I'm that nigga shit I drop 30 on this room, we ain't gon' sleep for shit If I catch you nodding off, then it's gon' be some shit Well, you can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be We young stunner Till I D.I.E. You can do what you wanna Live how you wanna Spin what you wanna Be who you wanna be you should tell your friends I'm not the bad guy Even though you pay me as the villain, I'm not that guy you Tell them all my flaws, you don't tell them that I'm better than your last guy For I ride with you, cut all my ties with you It's like I'm never seeing out of eye with you Conversations overheated, she gets sticky New Chanel is not for fashion, it's for the blicky yeah. Couple niggas closest to me, I didn't get me And when it's said and done, girl, are you riding with me? Yeah. My bitch a rider, yeah I'm a soul survivor, yeah Took an hour like NASA, cause he's out of hell I just hit up Isaac, cop the chandelier Bought my crib way out the way, so all my ops ain't near When they tell your friends about it They know if I'm crying about it, I'm dying about it Two tucked in the box, I'm about it Trade body, they know that I'm about it They know I've been ballin' all season Young niggas start to feel like Roddy I can never turn my back on cuz Fuck what it is, it is what it was Yeah, they come to my city, they gotta pay us Yeah, I got more pull than the mayor And if she bad, then I slay her Church on Sundays, tryna save her Trying to be the next kind, yeah That mean the way that she gone is a one way That means I came from the gutter, came a long way Ain't got no time for no love and no fiance That don't mean in the future, in a couple months Maybe we could just meet up once or twice for a little lunch I don't mean a lot of time, just a little one I mean part of me back then I was a little young
some money, only here to have some fun. I'm feeling good, skin, sun kiss, baby tongue kissing on your stomach and having lunch. Chicken drum through the city slums, nigga. Run. Red rum, red rum, bread give a nigga leg rum. They be playing dumb. I thought somebody said something, but it's probably all inside my head. All these women trying to lie in my bed, put the venom in my body and spread till a nigga dead. I ain't even scared of it. Tell the truth, I'm never really careful when it comes to you. I'm being real. Had a thing for you since we was little. Now I got a big thing to give. Use a cloud and I don't wanna yell. We could talk about it at the crib or the parking lot inside the wheel. I've been numb and I don't have a fuck to give. Shut your mouth, baby, but in lips. I don't wanna ever have to wonder about another nigga. The DJ keeping the, the the keep the party going. The DJ keeping the party going all night long. Body. Oh, baby, let me rub. Oh, baby, body. I wanna know. Shit out of you, you tell your friends around me. Oh, yeah. You so possessive, way too jealous. Don't bring your friends around me. I had some famous girls, some models, and some regular hoes. I told my bitch about them, think it's probably best that she knows. I bought a re sharp meal, it's a bubble, watch and luxury. Drop my new shit, nah, these bitches wanna fuck with me. Another new one in my collection. collection. Nothing but bad bitches up in my section. my section. Nothing but princess cousin, but gay. Yes. No commercial wheels up on the jet. Oh, baby, let me down. Oh, baby, carry me. Oh, baby, let me down. Oh, baby, tragedy. Oh, baby, let me rub. Oh, baby, body. I wanna know. Smoke a feel good, don't it? I'm the nigga and you know it, don't it? <laughs> don't it? Don't it? Hey. Brand new coupe, bitch, it look good, don't it? Hey. Brand new trip, smell good, feel good, don't it? Hey. I'm that nigga and you know it, don't it? Don't it? Don't it? Yeah, brand new money and it feel good, don't it? Watch the vision, that's my business and I fucking own it. Shorty looking sweet, she acting like I wouldn't bone it. I need that pussy up just like a donut. And that's facts, I'm a freak. I need millions like I'm meek. Like a crack in my sleep. Sleeps a hit when I speak. Yeah, cause no one I get on the beat. Did I just gotta go and kill her with some harmonies? Yeah. When it comes to bringing heat up on these trucks, I just say what I feel and then I put that shit on wax. I put in work on the road. I don't get what you was told. I gotta get with a mold before I just go sick on mold. I see niggas capping, hope it's working for you. Cause when they learn the truth, there's gonna be curtains for you. Fake niggas, I can stand you. I can even understand you. I'm gonna make it cause I plan to. And that's when I'm gonna be brand new, bitch. Brand new cool, bitch, and look good, don't it? Brand new trip, smell good, feel good, don't it? I'm the nigga and you know it, don't it? Don't it? Don't it? Hey. Brand new cool, bitch, and look good, don't it? Brand new trip, smell good, feel good, don't it? I'm that nigga and you know it, don't it? Passenger jets. I can put it in my rotation, that she'll never get upset. I can make sure when I touch down, I go straight into my wreath. My courtyard bag hold 250, put a mortgage in my safe. Got M's in my accounts, feel like I can finally take a break. Diving inside the ocean, and my neck look like a leak. All of my pocket stuff with lots of cheese that you can't grade. 100k plus for sure, and I'm booked state to stage. Pinky ring, big center stone with little VVS's all around it. I know that it's all there, but I still love the feeling every time I count it. Shorty got a little makeup on, fuck it, tell her rub a mask off. Cop shit, pop the tag off, take LSD and blast off. Ain't seen me since high school, it's been a minute. Can't you tell I'm lit it? Bust off, cost one fifty. Lift my door, go get in. Get to the head of my business. Got four like five year old big drill. Pouring up drink, taking big sips. RP nip, got blue strips. Wake up, I gotta go get it. They told me I couldn't, I did it. I'm a man of my time, I'm a bitch. 
here to keep my blicky Feeling the toys like Biggie Hunt around drums, big titties Lost on the cane, no biggie Make it right back, no kizzy right back, no kizzy Let's go, boys Mr. 32 Flavors This ain't no G, this shit smoking This shit thrust for real This that shit that had you choking And got two could kill Niggas chasing clout and claiming bodies They ain't do for real And my bitch got ass shots But I promise that this strap is real this ain't no G, this shit smoking, this shit thrust for real. This that shit that had you choking and got two could kill. Niggas chasing clout and claiming bodies, they ain't do for real. And my bitch got ass shots, but I promise that this strap is real. Niggas ain't gon' shoot for real, they ain't gon' shoot for real. Call up Muwapi, grab his Glock and he gon' shoot the kill. I done hit stains for real, uh, niggas ain't game for real, uh, niggas go to jail and tell. I done said hits from my cell, damn, bad bitch post my bill, uh, scream fuck 12, uh. All these bills came from the cartel. They say I got mail. Then who got no? Uh. That boy a trophy. I'ma put him on the shelf. This ain't no G. This shit smoking. This shit thrust for real. This that shit that had you choking and got two could kill. Niggas chasing clout and claiming bodies. They ain't do for real. And my bitch got ass shots, but I promise that this strap is real. This ain't no G. This shit smoking. This shit thrust for real. This that shit that had you choking and got two could kill. Niggas chasing clout and claiming bodies, they ain't do for real. And my bitch got ass shots, but I promise that this strap is real. You are now tuned into Watch the Vision. Yes, 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 we got my dog. Cameron knows in the building, man. So, Cameron, I know I mentioned the man you're going to high school for a bit together, man. So, just give us first, just give us like, where you from, dog? All right, so, <laughs> so I was born and raised, you know. Born and raised? I thought you was from the island or something, man. No, man, no, man. Straight from Nassau, dog. I know the island. Like, I'm building my healing. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> healing, that's real talk. That's real talk, man. So, I know we're going from, we going to sock together for a couple of years, man. So, what was the journey like? So, you go on the sock and then what you do after you leave sock? All right, cool. So, I've been to sock from seven to nine, and then I've been from QC. 10 to 12. And I tell people all the time, but I feel like stock make me a person and QC make me a student. You know, so I dare go. <laughs> so, so explain that, man. So sock make you a person, but QC make so so you trying to downplay sock? I know I, you got I want you to explain it, man. Explain it. Very important. So, okay, so my time at sock, I was able to become like, because you know, dog, sock was a vibe, bro. Like, sock, like, sock was a vibe, bro. <laughs> I was alive, bro. Like niggas in the fucking locker room gambling and things. <laughs> After school, before school, during school. Don't That's miss real. It. Don't miss and let it be your birthday because you're getting marched on. Like, bro, like sock was just a vibe, but like soccer, Rama, school dance, you know, all that. So, you know, I, I enjoyed it, bro. But I was having, I ain't gonna lie, too much fun. <laughs> I ain't gonna lie, it's having too I much fun. I could survive, but yeah, it's having too much fun for real, though. No cap, no cap. Yeah, yeah. If I had stay, mash up. I probably could still be in high school if I didn't stay. <laughs> <laughs> real, real talk, talk, a lot of people get caught up like, by like real talk, but like you could have go to sock and just play from from you reach in the morning, 7 o'clock, but it's things yeah. to do. Real talk, so yeah, I, real I, real. Things to do. And you get me off, bro. You get me off. So I enjoyed it, but I had to go, bro. I had to go. <laughs> so you say your time was up, so that's why you push out. Right. Right, so I go on QC grade 10, and true, and I was a sock nigga dog, so like I was moving like a sock nigga from day one. And by you QC, you say on, you moving like a sock nigga. You yeah, yeah, on the run, but QC suspend you quick. <laughs> so they they more strict. Yeah, 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 bro. So like, and like they didn't know I was coming from sock too, so they must feel like okay, well this boy must be trying to, you know, like he trying to show us. He trying to. <laughs> they, 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 so they, they, you had a little reputation here in the QC. Fox right. though, because that's when MSN was popping. So I, I sure before you touch QC, everybody already know you're touching that. Right, right. So anyway, go on QC and I calm down a little bit. Mind you, I still had a good time in QC too now, don't get me wrong. But you know, I calm down and I, you know, I get more serious into you know my schoolwork and thing. Not that I was no prefect or nothing, <laughs> but I definitely, <laughs> I definitely was taking it seriously enough to, you know, like to graduate. <laughs> to graduate and go to college and all of that. So, uh, so you going to college, man. So what was that journey? So now you about 17, graduating, you know what I mean? Graduating QC now. So you say you're going to college. So did you go straight to college or what's that journey like? Because I know that's that's tough, dog. When I was graduating high school, I didn't know what I was trying to do, dog. Real talk. So give us your journey. I mean, true and same. Like, I didn't really know what I wanted to do, per se, but I know one class I didn't really enjoy when I was in school was home ec. 
Because I had a teacher, Mr. Wimps. You know me. R.I.P. Mr. Wimps. R.I.P. Mr. Wimps, bro. That's my dog, bro. I love Mr. Wimps. I miss Mr. Wimps so much. I think for him all the time. He's a real, he's a real soldier. Yeah, but real one still. So true and I ain't know about it like Home Mac or about it just really like him as a teacher, but either way, like I did enjoy Home Mac because of whatever the reason was. And you know, I just was like, you know what, I can go pursue culinary. So I go on to College of the Bahamas for culinary. I do that um for a year and a half and bro, I was, I was pretty much done. I was about to finish. But true and remember me was like she wanted me to go off to school. And mind you, I did ask her to go off to school for my graduate, and she shoot that down one shot. She shoot that down one shot. <laughs> She's like, my shot, you were in the COB. <laughs> you were in little. What, what a change in that, in that time frame. My brother, you guess more mature or whatever? I know, I guess she must see to feel like I was more ready. I don't know what it was, because like I say, it was, it was pretty random, bro, but I was like, wait, I ain't gonna miss this plan. I go on. <laughs> <laughs> That's I go on. When, you know, I go on, because um, as a school, Noble Prep would used to feed into Niagara College. Yeah. I go on for like, I'd say like a semester, maybe a year. And then I go on Niagara College. And I was over there, I was still doing hospitality. Um, not culinary, but you know, still within the same realm. And boy, I just fucking ate it. <laughs> <laughs> boy, I did not enjoy that shit at all. It, was it because of the school or was it because of the, so why didn't you enjoy it? Cause you were better than us, and I mean it. That's super cool. Wait, it was both though. It's both. Cause true and I like the school didn't really have no school spirit like that. Cause like when you watching, cause obviously I never go off to school. So when you watching all these movies about school and thing, and you seen all your boys them going off to school in the states, you just assume it's the same in Canada, bro. And it was not, especially not in Welland, Ontario. Like what it is? <laughs> <laughs> oh, you buddy. I feel that though. Yeah, bro. So I didn't enjoy the city that I was in. I didn't enjoy the school. And the program was I, bro. I, did, I definitely didn't like it enough to say, but I'm going to go do this for the next four years. And it showed, bro. I, just, I, I feel the fuck out of Niagara College. You can not wait to tell me how I'm going to eat, buddy. You can wait, man. No, six. So then how do you find... So, hold on. Just a, just a quick pause. Like, I just want you to... Because you just touched on a subject. A lot of people don't think, like, when the Instagram and stuff be fake, dog. When you actually, like, going off to school, like... What if it ain't the experience that you be seeing all your friends them doing? They're right. in the town, but don't turn up. Nobody who relate to you. The food ain't the same. It's super no. cold. So then, how does? So what was your journey after Niagara College? Then so you just basically was like screw the sign on this run. I gotta make something right. else shake. Well, I wasn't on that run, and they wasn't on mine. Like I said, they ran me. Oh, it was mutual. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to go home anyway. Well, uh, after they yeah, my gunny, I go on home, and I regroup, bro. I go on home, and I say, okay, what, what is, what is it? Do I really want to do? And I know that the entire time that I was in Niagara, I was always distracted by fashion anyway. So I was like, what I can do is instead of it being a distraction, I can just go to school for that. You know, I can apply myself and be like, you know what, like I, you know, I've always been looking at fashion shit the entire time. I might as well, you know, make a career out of this. So while I was home and working, you know, I was applying all types of different fashion schools and things and trying to find the right fashion program for, for me as well. Mm-hmm. I wound up finding that. I wound up applying to George Brown College um, and I wound up starting that in 2016. Okay, okay, okay. so you started John Brown College in 2016? And so was it just for, was it for, what was it for? Is it for like entrepreneurship, graphic design? Okay. Um, program that I was in was a fashion management program. They had a fashion design program, which was for the proper designers. And they had a fashion management program was for people who was interested in starting a fashion business. So I was like, yo, I can go to school for this, you know, and while I in school, um, I can find a team of people, you know, who are interested in the same thing as me. And by the time I graduate, you know, I can have this, you know, this team of like-minded individuals you know, who can help me start this brand. And that did not happen. <laughs> <laughs> so that ain't happen either? No, I mean, Troy, I did enjoy my time. Um, I draw brown, I was inspired, but I just didn't find the people, bro. Like, Canadians different, bro. Like I say, Canadians different. Like, Bahamians is a vibe, Americans is a vibe. They're very, you know, so we are very social beings. Do you know? True, you true, know, you true. Won't yeah. die, you're probably living your best life at home. Hey, though, hey, 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 chill out, chill out, chill out. 
Yeah, I mean, put you on the spotlight. I still. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But any kind, any kind. But um, yeah, but I mean, and it wasn't even just the social aspect. It's just the people who were serious about the program. It wasn't because they were trying to start a brand. It was mostly because they was trying to be a buyer, or they wanted to do something more corporate. You know, they wasn't really interested. You know, in being a fashion business owner like myself. So after I finished. Um, George Brown in 2017. I just was waking. I was waking in retail, and I was like, "Yo, I so you just was waking. He was waking to get everything together before you joined. Right. So you finished George Brown in 2016? No, I started 2016 and I finished 2017. I started January 2016 and I finished um, at the end of 2017. So a full two years. Oh, a full two years, two years, two years, man. So we gonna get into the mix, man. I will, I will, I will hear this. <laughs> you funny king. I will hear this story. But anyway, we gonna get into the mix one time, two time, and then we gonna get back into fashion designer, man, entrepreneur, clothing line owner, Mr. Cameron Knowles. Watch the vision. Shots up in the car before we picked up dirt. Mm-hmm. Niggas who ain't got shit going, go grab a glizzy, get alert. Mm-hmm. Shots to cheap post RP and breezy in the dirt. Mm-hmm. Brr, brr. You gotta know I go too far. Mm-hmm. Get two O's up on this honey, one of them might stand for O Block. About 20 mm-hmm. some shots left up in the K, 15 still in the Glock. Keep my door unlocked and stop, I like getting on feet, park the car. Brr. Brr. We get no clothes, doing dirt, I ain't 
showing love. 11,000 all ones, left my right pocket in the club. These blue faces up on me dirty, I went and got it out the mud. If I took some, get it in blood, on the give a fuck where we was. Bitch, I got my own. If I don't need security in the club, all that woofing on the net, nigga, I thought you was a thug. I ain't got nowhere to go, I shot up everywhere they was. Yeah, you know who took this shit from you, come get it back in blood. Kill your man, you keep on talking, better get that shit in blood Get my shorty nimmer dub, then they gon' walk inside the club Hit his little ass with that switch, I bet yeah. that switch switch up his nerve Fuck the ops inside my city, look bro, put them in the mud You can't come back to your hood, huh? No. He was dissing on my cousin, now his ass all in that wood, huh? Book his ass, I wish he would come, pussy V-Roy pop up out that car with that new Glock, I wish he would run yeah. His ass playing, bitch, I'm really icy Shicey, that's my dog, but pull you know I'm really shy. You told all them OT niggas that you really sly. Plus, tell the truth about your game, bitch, they really die. Gang. Bitch, I got my own, if I don't need security in the club. All they woofing on the net, nigga, I thought you okay. was a thug. I ain't got nowhere to go, I shot up everywhere they was. Yeah, you know who took this shit from you, right? Yeah, you see, you know I rockin' with your boy, bro, I school boy. I be ballin' anyway. Chill out. Listen. God don't make no mistakes God don't make no mistakes A nigga never learn to say I be ballin' anyway God don't make no mistakes This life is give and take Needed something way be to get my point across yeah. I work for myself, so I guess I work for a boss Look up at the scoreboard to tell you who took the loss Aim it at your Adam's apple, turn it to applesauce Yeah, yeah. cast and turn, Peter Street in the motocross Glass one with Dev Jam, but I'm still going off still going And it off. ain't about my masters, I been on in mine Had a wife from mad at me cause I know Farrakhan Boom. And you know this is a hit, Barry Bonds and my shorty gonna ride me like a peloton Sophomore year, I sold more crack than a windshield Dunk contest, jump over a lamb and did a windmill They asked me how I feel, I told them never better, better. Smoking on op, I roll more else than pellet, pellet I stay fly, guess I'm fly, land on Mike Pence I do some stupid shit, don't let them dog me like Mike I never learn to say yeah. uh. I be ballin' anyway I don't make no mistakes This life is giving pain Don't let them make you feel away Could've freed more if they only knew that they were slaves Man, we gotta get away Man, your boy done caught away You should hear the way I say Talk, talk, talk to them people Man, y'all don't need to know the language Man, I ain't finna do no lame shit it's a yacht and that's a long way from a slave ship. How they control our mind? How they control us? How they get us so, so emotional? You think you mad? What you got the fuck to know? Gotta up that game. 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 Gotta up that damn relay. Yeah, this ain't no 48. This that new news. Yeah, yeah. Go ahead and just mop some stairs. Fuck around, lose a tooth. Yeah, yeah. She give her that mouth on the stage, she ain't even use no tooth. Yeah, oh yeah. She give her that box on the stage, I ain't have to get no room. Yeah, oh yeah. Crown hearts, my she cold like perfume. Yeah, yeah. Race and stripes, now my worry, this goes zoom. Yeah, yeah. In the kitchen, we be up just like it's stew. Yeah, yeah. Bitch, I'm stuck, I'm just geek to the moon. Yeah, yeah. Shoot it up, then them buns better move. Yeah, yeah. Tiffany Blue, diamonds hit just like the pool. Yeah, yeah. Lots of pink, diamonds shit didn't change my mood. Yeah, yeah. When Gucci Ever since I was in school, yeah, school. yeah. Stop the nigga out. I ain't have to buy no loops, yeah, yeah. yeah. Make all the ops scurry, yeah, yeah. She likes the scurry, yeah, yeah. Get bird, 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 yeah, yeah. Get bird, 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 yeah, yeah. Get yeah. No limit like Percy, yeah, yeah. In a way you can swerve me, no yeah, way. yeah. Smoke good gas, yeah. Mic off back, yeah. Move good work, work. That's soft pack, yeah. Gotta up that, 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 yeah. Gotta up that. You are now tuned into. Watch the yes, vision. yes, we back on Watch Radio. the Vision Radio. This is your boy DJ Roscoe Boards. 
And we here with my man, Mr. Cameron Knows, man. So just get back into it, man. So you're the owner of the clothing line, Power Clothing. And so what year did you start uh, this entrepreneurship? All right, so from I gone, from I come to Canada 2016, I say, yo, I can get myself a five-year window. And I say by 2021, I can have a brand, bro. So you had a plan, first of all. Yeah, I had a plan. You got to have a plan, bro. <laughs> you real. can't just out there it. So yeah, I gave myself a five year window and I said by 2021, I have a brand. And by, I would say uh, May 2020, after the world on end, you know, I had the time. <laughs> <laughs> you got to, we were talking, anyone hey, thought this girl, they summer this, like, all right, by May, June, summer yes. time, but anyway, yeah. Yeah, but I mean, you know, like the world on over, I don't got the time. Let me start planning from now. So um, since I've been over here and since I've been working, I wound up coming in contact with one boy named David Collar, right? And he got his own brand, he own brand called Collar Clothing. And this boy, you know, he's the real deal. Like, he done been in Complex Magazine, he done been in Toronto Men's Fashion Week, you know, like proper like designer, right? Um, and he starting, he started like um, a company where aspiring fashion business owners could go to him, you know, and and pretty much pay him as a consultant and he would help them get the brand started, right? And between me and two of my boys, we just can try put up for it because I couldn't afford it on my own. Um, but we just couldn't get enough information on your boy dog. Like like I say, like he, he got a good resume, but we couldn't get enough information about the program itself, you know? And like, we didn't want to invest all this money and then come to find out, you know, he out just swinging again. So is it because it's scarce or like, how do you even get that information? That's the thing, bro. Like whenever I'd ask him, why them urban, them, them like, them like urban tales. Basically, you gotta be, right, you gotta right. know someone, know someone. Like he definitely down, you know, to take your money and he down to help you or whatever. But I, I was just trying to find testimonials and like, you yeah, know, I was just trying to see if it's yeah, work. You know what I mean? Some of the people who've been through the same program to see if it worked, bro. Cause like, you know, as a foreign man in a foreign line, like I come over here, I thinking, <laughs> you know, I go trusting the voice nigga that offer me something like this, and then boom, my money gone. So anyway, luckily it ain't wake out, but like one thing I did get from my experience with him was the rubric. The rubric was, you know, maybe it would make more sense to, you know, seek someone who already know what they're doing, you know, to ask them to, you know, help me start the brand. You see what I'm saying? Because I essentially, I am a designer. You know, I wouldn't even want to disrespect designers and say that I'm a designer. I'm more of a creative director. You know, because like I know... So what's the difference? Like, I don't know the difference. I think all this is it. <laughs> okay, so like a designer is someone who actually been to um, fashion school, who know pattern making, you know, who know how to sew, who know how to do, you know, how to make a, a garment from scratch. You know, I, I know how to do that. I just know what the, what I want the garment to look like by the time it's finished. <laughs> okay, 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 I see right. what you're so you know, I'll, you know. So you get in a vision and you just be like, right, work right. that out. Right. You know, like I know as far as, you know, what, I, what quality I want the garment to be, you know, what printing process I want to use, all of that. But like I just, you know, I can't create a garment from scratch. I just say that's know, like me and Abel. <laughs> you know, I just be like, Abel, this is what I want, and he could he could put it together, dog. So right. shouts to him. Like Kanye, you think Kanye out there behind a sewing machine, fucking sewing a um, um, thousand dollar jacket and thing? Hell no. <laughs> that's you know, what he got a team for that. He's a creative director. All right, I, I see it. I see it. So now, so now you get the you get the rubric now. So you and your bread and you try to get that money now. You get the rubric now. So, so then, how did you make that jump now? So now you get the rubric. So now, was it the rubric that made you start power clothing from there, or how did that come about? Well, like I say, it was mostly you know the full time and me thinking about yo, like okay, I was waking this whole time in retail in hopes of staying inspired, um, and I'm awake. And luckily, you know, I got this free time now to really make me think about what I want to do and how I can go doing it. So I know one of my boys. Um, Trey, he he been to fashion school, but he's a like I say a proper designer. You know, like he done work with Nike, he done work with Off White. We gotta get Trey on the show, man. Yeah, you trust me, I got you. <laughs> but um, yeah. So and I know him through my sister because he been to school in London, and my sister been to school in London too. Um, for law. Shout out to Nosy by the way. She just passed the bar exam. Hey, shout out to her. She just passed the bar, man. Shout out. Uh, shout out. One step closer to generational wealth. <laughs> easy, but, um, easy, easy. But um, yeah. So I meet him through her. You know, he's from the Bahamas as well. You know, and he's serious about fashion. So I reached out to him and I was like, bro, like, 
um, what I would you be able to help me start this brand? You know, obviously, you know, I would, you know, I would pay you to do it. And yeah, and he's like, yeah, he definitely would be down. So I was like, I bet. So I wound up talking to one of my other boys about it, just off of excitement, you know, like I wasn't even trying to like recruit him or nothing. I just was excited. And he's like, damn, that sounds exciting. How much would it cost to finance something like that? Mind you, my boy up, you know, like he, yeah, he, he up. Different, you know, he like, different. <laughs> but I different over here. <laughs> you didn't even do. It's one of my boys from home. You know, I won't put a scene on who it is. Oh, but, but don't put no cards, man. We can talk about it all off there. Real talk. He can afford it, right? So he's like, yeah, how much would it cost to finance something like this? I said, but you serious? He's like, yeah, but. And I was like, all right, cool. So between um, me, um, my investor, and Dre, we start working on the brand. And he's, you know, like, he's pretty much saying, okay, well, let's, let's start working on a budget. Let's start doing this. Let's start doing that. And originally, we had a, like a $50,000 budget for an entire collection, right? But then when I run it by uh, my investor, it's not that he couldn't afford it, but it's just, he don't know um, how smart of a move it would have been. So it's like we can start smaller and we can do a smaller drop with just like one or two garments, you know, and go from there. But you'd be surprised how expensive that is, bro. Like you had two garments, you expect, you know, like, you know, that's like, that's a still, that's still at least a $10,000 budget. That's what I said, at least 10. Yeah, so that's like a $10,000 budget right there. So in July, um, me and after we established the budget and you know which two garments we can do or whatever, me and Trey, we start working on the design process. You know, I start sending him all the stuff that I wanted to do, and I dead excited now because I think, all right, well, boom, we finally starting it. Come off the ground, yeah. Right, and he's and every design I show him, he's like, no, you can't do that. Like for example, there's a lot of like there's a lot of things that we don't think about when we're trying to make product, right? Like I know. Um, Michael Thompson, for example, he is one of the, he's the first um, basketball player, first international basketball player to go number one, right? And he's from the Bahamas. Right. So I wanted, definitely wanted to have you know, a graphic of him, an image of him as one of the graphics for the brand. Um, but Trey was like, bro, you can't do that because, you know, that's E-Face. You can't just print off E-Face, put it on a shade, and then try to get a bag off it, you know? <laughs> Damn, at least you gotta get a link him and see if he okay with that. True, true. And like, of course, like, you know, later on, if I could get, um, if I could get true to him and get true to his team or whatever, I'll do that. But like, it's just small things like that that I have to take into consideration. So like, luckily, you know, he, he you know, being a designer, you know, he was able to, you know, help me with designs that were original, you know, and that I didn't have to get consent with. But another one of the designs that um, I chose to do was a design with a Bahamian photographer, um, Sherrod Lightborn. I don't know if you know Sherrod. No, I know Sherrod. All right, cool. Well, anyway, him and my sister had done a, a photo shoot a couple of years ago. And I really like how the, how the shoot came out. It was legit. Yeah, it was legit. And, you know, like my sister's, you know, one of my biggest inspirations. So I figure I might as well have her, you know, as one of the initial graphics for the brand. So I reach out to him and I ask him, this is from deep in quarantine, from, you know, before I even start talking to Trey. Quarantine radio type vibes. Yeah. <laughs> so I reach out to him and I ask him, say, you know, he give me the okay to use the, the graphic. And... He gave me the okay to do it. We signed the contract and that was that. And like, that was a, a good first step for me because one of the things about Power Clothing as a brand is that I want to empower a lot of Bahamian creatives. You know, and that's one of the reasons, if not the biggest reason, why it's called Power Clothing. Yeah, so what is the, I was going to ask you, that was a question coming up. So thank you, why did you call it Power Clothing? Yeah, and that's exactly why. Because like I said, I want to empower as much Bahamian creatives as possible. I want to empower Bahamian creatives, behemoth artists, behemoth photographers, you know, because like at the end of the day, we have a lot to contribute as creatives, you know, and like I just want to be able to make a platform for, you know, for all of that, you know, not just aspiring designers, but, you know, just creatives in general. Now that's true, man. So what's the, so now that you have everything in place, man, so what's the next step for Power Clothing? Do you guys have the pieces of garments out yet? So we still... As we wrote it, so this process. Anyway, so like I say, um, since July, um, we've been working on the on the designs, and I've been reaching out to printing companies. Um, I've been reaching out to 
uh, manufacturers, all that. And everything was good, and I pretty much was done. And then last minute, my investor had to back out. So I didn't do all this groundwork. <laughs> you know, like I didn't do all this groundwork, trade and do all this design work. Like, you know, like I didn't reach out to all type of different printing companies and thing, trying to get all type of different quotes and invoice and like bro, like I on road, bro. Every day I waking up and I on road taking subway all over Toronto and thing. Bro, that's tough, but tough. Really? Yeah, yeah, then, subway trying to buy what? Real. And I but yeah, like I say, but I pretty much done done. You know, all I needed was the money at this point, and then my investors like, "Boy, things ain't things," and I was like, "My dope." So after that, I was like, "Bro, what I could do?" Because I mean, I ain't got no 10k, I ain't got no money tree. I don't know if you get one. <laughs> so, I ain't got it. Let me tell you now. Money tree. So Troy and I was talking to one of my friends about it, and she's like, "Boy, why don't you start a GoFundMe?" And that's like, "All right." So I started. Um, I'd, I'd say the end of September, and bro, in like a week, I had a thousand dollars. Hey, that's good though. <laughs> in, in a week, I had a thousand dollars, and a few months later, here I am. I got like four thousand dollars. You know, I still got more money to make, but you know, yeah, that's good, dog. Congrats. You know, what I mean, at least you're halfway there. Yeah, bro, I almost halfway there, dog. So, you know, at this point, all I really need to do, and like even like, obviously, I'm gonna say I don't still need to raise the rest. But I just been pivoting the entire time. So one way that I was gonna pivot is to just um, get some samples done, as opposed to you know doing the entire um, order. Cause like I was originally gonna do um, 50 hoodies and 100 t-shirts. Yeah, right? right, Nicole. Now nah, man, I need that power sample hoodie right now, Cammy. <laughs> so yeah, I originally was gonna do um, 50 hoodies and 100 t-shirts. But I was like, Troy, let me just do a size run for the hoodies and a size run for the t-shirts, you know, and use, you know, those garments for the website, for the Instagram page. And then after I finish with them, you know, I can send them out to influencers, you know, and then I could just start doing pre-orders through the website. So I feel like that's more so the route that I'm going to take right now, especially because I ain't got the 10K yet. But, you know, I could definitely raise the money just through the pre-sales. You know, and so then get that get that rolling right and then get that rolling man that's solid man so you got um do you have like an instagram page or anything yet where we could follow you yeah bro power clone bahamas at power clone bahamas that's and instagram also, yeah that's on instagram and you could also follow your boy on instagram it's peas and rice <laughs> <laughs> wait we dead behemoth on the side uh, but, but that, no no but that's good but behemoth is behemoth is where it's at dog real talk yeah bro so yeah, power coding you had so do you have uh, any more um social media um handles any twitter or any of that oh, i can't do twitter <laughs> you no know, i understand i understand so so when give us a give us a do you have a time frame or when we could be on the lookout for samples or any of that so what i in the process of doing right now is getting um blanks i gotta get the blank hoodies and the blank t-shirts i gotta get the labels and i gotta get the packaging so uh, as soon as I get the three of them over the course of this month, because I'm moving back home January 29th. January so, 29th, he back yeah. in the building, folks. Yeah, I back in the building. So as soon as I get, you know, all them before then, which I will, you know, I could go home and because my designer, Trey, he, he found a printing company at home that we could use. So I can go home and I can print them up and by the end of February, I should be good, which right on time for your boy birthday too. So we live. Oh, we live then. So, so basically, so your birthday is to run. What we we'll be looking for then, basically? Yeah, real. Yeah, yeah. I got uh, plenty of birthday come February twentieth. Uh, make sure we we'll making the birthday run. Y'all head for his camera knows. So plug in yourself one more time so they can look for you in the birthday run. Yeah. So at SPs and Rice at Power Glow in Bahamas. Hello. Easy Power Glow in Bahamas, man. So we got one last question, man. So this is what the folks on here. When the power clothing sample drop and you need bottle, will you call DJ Roscoe Boards? What did you say, mate? <laughs> well, man, I said... <laughs> oh, man, he clowning me, folks. He clowning me. Oh, man, we only getting off, man, man. But it's been a good interview, dog. I just like it. I sit here talking with you, dog. We'll talk. But you've been locked in with Watch the Vision Radio. This is your boy, DJ Roscoe Boards, alongside my dog, the power clothing owner, Mr. Cameron Knows, man. 
appreciate it, dog. Appreciate it, bro. No, man, I appreciate you for coming on the radio station, man. It's been Take good it, conversation. Let's get it, Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Big brr. Yeah. Brr, 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 brr. Let's go, let's go. Put in my snake with dick like no rock. Pull up a four on the pen, I'll snap. snap. Life like a move, I'm flipping through child. Chum. 17 months, I done turned to a rap. Hey, who wants to smell now? I feel like I ain't She Chum. want the friend, give a fuck about the pals. Hey, bro, they like toe tag, we whack. We whack. They buy new guns, we act. Hey, hey, hey. from the bed, make a tap. Tap, tap. Got a new hunt, two stick, can't count. Can't count. I'm gonna pray while I'm trying to relap. Relap. About twice, nigga, that's relap. Relap. Drinking my pen, now I walk with a limp. I'm feeling the fin, I'm taking it out. Take this is a robbery, better not move. Scott script. When I'm naked, I'm shaking them down. Shake down. I look perform with hoes on stage. Yeah. I just be picking bitches out the crowd. Let's go. On the blocks, no throwaways. No. We shoot the kids, get <laughs> shot and stop. <laughs> I done got rich, now a lot of nigga nerds. Hey, man, I ain't been with us since no curves. Shoot another coin, had them young nigga purge. Hey, purge. I done got back, cause it's like short early. Short early. Cut early. Yup. Yeah. Fix me your ass with the chop like a surgeon. Yup. Yeah. Taking you back, back, back. Way back. 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 Back.
I'm real discreet, like a thief in the night. I'm rich, but I'm riding. I'm low on this attic. I'm about to fly out and go get me some. Nothing ain't sweet. All this money on me. On the rats in the bag, that's a hundred bun. Baby OG, I've been running these streets. Got a game full of shine on my mama's son. Learn about the triple cross when I was young, and I know I ain't going, so I keep a gun. I flew to Paris just to buy some Dior. She begging for attention, I don't see her. CIP pop, I wish that you can see us. Me and Cash Plus, whenever I go real. I got some niggas in the street, won't beat me. I got the image, be trying to beat me. I just go Ray Charles, they can't see me. I'm in the Rolls Royce with a bitch. I'm knowing I ain't hearing not a young nigga saying that. Double back twice in a row, three three. Bitches pains all in my home. First street, tell it loud when I make a song. Let him let my brother day him make it home. Mm. She be all on me like she need me. I'm gonna need you at all. Oh, she believe me. She be mad at time when I really ain't know. Got me posted all alone where the slums be. Lot of money on the line, what I'm going hard for? You don't stick with me now, wrong run you a see. Don't go, uh, take off. They tell you that they lying and they saying that they seen me. No so. Tell it loud when I make a song Let him let my brother think he make it home, make it home